Senior Bank of Uganda officials, led by the Deputy Governor Louis Kasekende, appeared before the Parliamentary Committee on Commissions, State Authorities and State Enterprises Kosase, to respond to queries in the Auditor General's reports of 2016-2017 and 2017-2018. The queries include, among others, the 472 billion shillings the central bank used to recapitalize Queen Bank under receivership in 2016 and before it was sold to DFCU in January 2017. Committee members first asked who the accounting office of Bank of Uganda was, whose mandate includes managing public resources. But the Deputy Governor Louis Kasekende then informed the committee that he, along with the Governor Tomsime Mtebide, were the vice and chairpersons of the Bank of Uganda board and where all are the accounting officers. MPs, however, insisted that the governor and his deputy cannot be the accounting officers, since they are not appointed by the Secretary to the Treasury, Keith Mohakanizi. The law is very specific under Public Finance Management Act, that the accounting officer shall be appointed by the PSST. That's what we want. Uh, who is the accounting officer of the bank? We have uh, two accounting officers, the governor and myself. Secretary of the Treasury, who is the permanent secretary of the Ministry of Finance, would explicitly appoint the governor and deputy governors and the, and the deputy governor as appoint accounting officer. But where such a letter is not written, you don't have an accounting officer in the Bank of Uganda. And it's the reason maybe why people are acting with impunity because they know you will not apprehend them at the end of the day. Kasekend added that the central bank is self-accounting as it does not draw its budget from the consolidated fund and operate without a vote. Do you derive powers to appropriate money? Okay. We yeah. present our budget mm. to the board and the board of Bank of Uganda is the one that approves okay. the money. Is uh, and when you, look, you read Article 154, all monies must be drawn from the constituted fund must be appropriated by parliament. So even the fact, the issue you are raising that the board approves your budget, it's not the function of the board. You do section 10. The committee has now instructed the Bank of Uganda management team and Keith Mahakanis to appear before it tomorrow to shed more light on this matter. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV at Parliament.